my name is Nick and welcome to another episode of the Side Quest. Today's beer is called Otter in the Rye by Elder Pine Brewing and Blending Co. This beer is a rye whiskey barrel aged English style rye wine ale. It is 13% ABV and it was brewed by Elder Pine in Gaithersburg, Maryland. Now the first thing that caught my eye about this beer was the label. It looked really cool. A lot of Elder Pines beers that I saw on the shelf had this really cool sickle and hoe uh, logo, I guess. And the otter kind of points me to barley wine. And I was surprised to find it's a barrel aged rye wine. Now I've never actually had a rye wine, but from what I've been reading, it's, it's pretty much a, a barley wine, I guess, that has a lot of uh, rye malt that's been used. For this beer, Elder Pine lists 35% rye and 65% Maris Otter. Now I never actually worked with rye as a home brewer. From what I can tell and what I've read, it's actually kind of hard to work with. The malt usually gets super sticky and it's hard to actually drain it out of your mash tun, which is uh, something I'm, I haven't tried before, but I am really interested to see how this goes. I'm not really seasoned on rye beers at all. I, I have drank beers that have a really small percentage of rye in their malt bills, but nothing at anything above like one or 2%. Now I heard that rye does give off this spicy flavor. It's the same in like rye whiskeys from what I hear. And so this is gonna be kind of like a first, but it's barrel aged and it's barrel aged in rye barrels. So it's, and it's been barrel aged for 15 months. So this is gonna be an interesting beer. Um, and because Elder Pine is really local, I think Gaithersburg is actually not that far from me. I, I'm gonna be interested to see what else um, I can pick up from them. I know they do a lot of like traditional styles. So um, maybe a good Pilsner, I think they have one or even um, maybe I'll try an IPA or a pale ale. Uh, we'll see, I just kinda wanna see, try out some more of their stuff because it's fairly close by. But yeah, let's pour this thing out and let's uh, check it out and I'll be right back after this one. As you can tell by the pour, not a lot of head on this beer. It's actually kind of gone now. Uh, initially, it was maybe a really thin layer on the top of the whole beer, even though I poured it straight down the middle, try to get some gas out. Uh, but yeah, nothing, uh, nothing right now. I do see some bubbles rising up in the top and on the sides, so I'm not too concerned about the carbonation. Um, but yeah, it wasn't that. It's not that bad. The color on this beer, though, it's like super opaque. It's not like it's a dark, like a like a, a stout. It's, it's like, it's a, like a nice light brown color, almost like chocolate milky. It's like a really like light milk chocolate uh, looking color. Um, you definitely see some legs on this. It's a 14% beer, so, or actually no, sorry, 13% beer. So I'm actually not surprised. Uh, again, barley wines are not my uh, favorite style, but I do like trying new things and never had a rye wine. So um, yeah, kind of uh, excited. Let me put a nose on this one. Getting some very interesting aromas coming off this beer. Definitely get a little bit of the booziness of the beer. I do get a little bit of an alcohol. Um, it's it's sort of like I'm putting my nose really deep into this glass, so I can kind of um, can kind of sense it on my nose. I can and smell it um, pretty much. Uh, there is like this sweetness on it, sort of like a maybe like a caramelly kind of sweetness. But it looks really interesting. Smells kind of good, so um, kind of excited. Cheers. This beer is uh, pretty interesting, so let's kind of get into it. I uh, was worried about the carbonation. Uh, I stopped um, once I took my first uh, sip. Feels great. Body is about medium thick. Like it's not super chewy. It is a little bit chewy uh, after you drink like a whole like mouthful. Uh, but it's not. Um, it's not like super thick. That it's. It almost feels like a watered down milkshake. But it, it is uh, good. Uh, obviously the carbonation on it is just fine 
and it tastes great. Even if I shake this up a bit, you definitely see the bubbles coming out of here, so I'm not worried about it at all. The flavor I get is like, um, the first thing that hits me is like this bitterness. I, well, I'm pretty sure it's the alcohol. This is a 32% beer after all, and you can, I don't know, I'm just getting like this bitterness that you, I usually get off of like a spirit, like vodka. Um, not a, my, I don't know if I attribute it to bourbon. Uh, there, I don't really get a, a strong barrel character. However, I do get that rye um, spiciness, as they call it. I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure the, the barrel does uh, attribute or uh, enhance that portion of it. So I do understand maybe that's the point of the barrel. Uh, but yeah, I don't get like woody notes or anything. I do get a, a very strong, like almost, uh, what is it? Stereotypical Rolos toffee um, aroma and flavor coming off of this. So that part is good. And um, I think the only thing downside I have uh, when talking about this beer is probably the can size. This is a 13% beer. Uh, it is summer right now. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love this come winter time. Uh, because it's barrel aged, I can probably store it. So if I get like another can, I can probably just keep it uh, down here in the cellar. Um, and and save it for the winter time. But I can definitely see myself sipping something like this um, when it gets super cold out. It's good, I didn't know what to expect out of a rye wine, but it kind of, it has like a, a little bit, it's a little bit different than a barley wine, definitely in, in the flavor profile and the taste. Uh, if I had to choose, I'd probably stick with the barley wine. Um, mainly because the spiciness is not really for me. But if that's what they're going for, they did a great job with this beer. Um, if you're looking at something like a sort of, not like a, a, something different, and you like barley wines, definitely pick up one of these. Um, you're, you probably, you're not gonna be disappointed. I really like it. Um, will I drink a lot of it? Probably not. I can't finish this can. I'm probably only gonna drink like maybe 75% of it. Um, again, like I've said in previous videos, 30% is a lot and 16 ounces is definitely a lot for this. Um, 12 ounces, I could probably, I'd probably drink all of it. And if, it, if I just had like a taster at the tap room, I, that'll probably be it. And <laughs> uh, it's a good thing I'm home because I'm not gonna, I'm pretty sure in like five minutes this uh, beer is gonna hit me. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, I like it. Um, if you're in the area and you can find Elder Pine, um, Elder Pine's uh, Otter in the Rye, pick it up. Um, it's good, it's good for what it is. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, uh, leave a like down below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers. This raw wine is pretty solid.